The United States Senate recently made an announcement that is every professional's dream. No longer will they be enforcing the dress code for members of the Senate. This was announced this week by Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, who said, quote, Senators are able to choose what they wear on the Senate floor. I will continue to wear a suit. Good for you, Senator Schumer, for continuing to wear a suit and imparting the necessary dignity that is required for being a member of the greatest country in the world's legislature. Apparently, some other senators who spurred this change do not agree. They think that a dress code is antiquated, shouldn't be necessary for people holding one of the highest offices in the land. One of these senators was Senator John Fetterman, a Democrat from Pennsylvania. He was kind of the progenitor of this whole re repeal the dress code shift that has taken place. We all know that Senator Fetterman would walk into the Senate wearing a hoodie, wearing shorts, having no regard for any kind of decorum or respectful dress. And now, like so many other things in this country, the preferences of one become the rule for many. According to a Fox News journalist who went through the new rules with regard to the dress code or lack thereof, quote, senators can now wear whatever they want. However, others entering the Senate chamber must comply with the dress code. Coat and ties for men, business attire for women. You know what I thought of when I read that? That senators can basically whatever wear whatever they want, whereas other people going in have to abide by a dress code. It made me think of going to a restaurant in 2021 and even 2022 in the aftermath of the COVID lockdowns. It was very common for you to go into a restaurant and you as the patron, the diner, would not be obligated to wear a mask. However, your waiter or waitress would be obligated to wear a mask. And I always felt it was so wrong to be sitting there. It was elitist, frankly, to be sitting there being served by people who had to wear a mask while I didn't. This dress code standard is no different. The senators are on a higher playing field. They can wear whatever they want because they are the elite, but then the rest of us plebeians who go to behold their eminence in the chamber, who go to serve them, have to be beholden to a different set of standards. That is just wrong. That is just unfair. And additionally, of course, there is a sense of, of dignity and respect that members of our government ought to abide by. We live in this culture now where people say, oh, dress doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what you wear to a wedding. Doesn't matter what you wear to a funeral. Doesn't matter what you wear to church. You should just be authentic and wear whatever you want. But we underestimate the power that dress has. When you show up to a funeral and you wear the appropriate black garb and you are conservatively dressed, what you are saying it to the family, the mourning family, is I respect you. I understand the gravity of your loss. I am mourning with you and I am going to go the extra effort to look a certain way to impart that message to you. It's the same thing, as I said, at weddings, at church, really anywhere, dressing properly is a sign of respect. How do you think people in other countries th view this? If they start to look at footage of vote counts in the United States Senate and they see United States legislators wearing hoodies and crop tops perhaps and flannels and slippers, how do you think they are going to view the United States? Do you think they are going to see us as a dignified, noble country worthy of respect, a serious country? Or do you think they're going to see us as clowns? One of my favorite authors, Charlotte Bronte, wrote that when you treat people with dignity, they start to see themselves as more dignified in their own eyes. It is the same thing with any office. When you treat that office with dignity and respect, whether it's through your relations with your coworkers, whether it's the way that you keep your desk, whether it's the way that you dress, you are imparting an importance and a dignity to that work. It'll be very interesting now to see footage of these senators. Sean, you're going to have to change. 
the B-roll here, no longer will we be seeing these great attire, but now it's just going to look like being on a corner of any street in the United States in a major city. Awful. See you all soon. I'll continue wearing my nice dresses. Take care.